Welcome back, you Muppetese heathens. What are you doing? I was going to sneeze, but I went away. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm King Boomer. She's the queen. Hi. The queen of boomers. <laughs> um, welcome back, guys. We are getting into Father Ted. Father Ted. We are Ted. at... Are you going to do a chant? <laughs> Father Ted. I got very excited to watch this. I missed it. I missed Dougal. Yeah. She's been nagging me all week about it. When are we going to do Father Ted? When are we going to do Father nag. Ted? Oh, I nag. Yeah. Just a little bit. Just about YouTube stuff. Just a little bit, yeah. And coffee. And coffee, oh, yes. No, you don't nag me about that. You threaten me. <laughs> I need my coffee! I do. I wake I up need and it I out! just go, coffee! Yeah. But anyway, this is Father Ted, Season 1, Episode 5. It's called the, uh, Father Ted's Vow of Chastity is Under Threat. Oh. So. Oh, no. What you doing, Father Ted? Yeah. What you what doing you there, doing? huh? Huh? <laughs> but, uh... Anyway, we're really excited about this. Um, Saturday, I hope this video drops before Saturday, but Saturday I want to do a live stream for both the U.S. Uh, World Cup match and the England World Cup match. Yeah. Because they play at 10 and 12. So hopefully I'll do a live stream for that. If I don't, I might make an appearance on somebody else's, like uh, Brace Suck 21 or uh, Eclectic Beard. You know, one of those guys who are uh, friends of the channel. So if you haven't subscribed to them, go check out their channels. Maybe I'll put a couple links in the below the video so you guys can check them out if you haven't already. Most of you have. But anyway, this is uh, Father Ted. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? ready. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Here we go. Read that book ten times. <laughs> no, I love a bit of Oscar Wilde, I suppose. He always does it for me. Oh, Wilde. The only thing worse than being talked about is not being talked about. Exactly. <laughs> Wilde couldn't have put it better himself. <laughs> well, it was him who said that, actually, Father. Yes, yes, but I don't think he'd have said it in that kind of ladylike way. <laughs> <laughs> You're a charmer, Father. <laughs> Miss Clark. I don't suppose you'd sign a copy of the latest. I'd be delighted. Um, Father Ted Cr No, um, just Ted Crilly. Don't, don't bother about the father, actually. I envy you, really, Father. You must have great peace of mind being a priest. That's what I'd love. A feeling of serenity. Oh, I have serenity coming out of my years. <laughs> Too much serenity, really. <laughs> Bit of excitement that suits me down to the ground. <laughs> Thanks for the autograph. I have to go. We have some nuns coming to visit us on the island. We're all very busy. Oh, okay, Val. Thank you. Oh, the book. Thank you. I think that was the right time where he, uh, there was a curse word in there. Yeah. Because didn't he say the F word? Yeah, he did. He... Let me see. You gotta make, you gotta be sure in this one, because yeah. they hardly curse in this, in this, uh. <clears throat> yeah? yeah. Father Carly. I'm going up. Thanks. <laughs> well, good look at the book again. Thank you very much, Father. Bye. Bye. <laughs> well, hello again. Ah, hello. <laughs> we have to stop meeting like this. <laughs> Goodbye again. Good look at the book. Every time. <laughs> change. Really change. For God's sake. Good luck with the book. Oh my God. <laughs> Please change. Please. Please change. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sorry about that. Oh! oh my gosh! <laughs> that 
noise! Slap the priest! <laughs> that noise! Oh. 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 <laughs> it, 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 even if it was real, you could tell it wasn't by that noise. Listen. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What? <laughs> is she a nun? Why is she there? I don't know. Alright. What's going on? <laughs> Miss Clark! What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm the parish priest here. Oh, well, that's extraordinary. I think someone's trying to keep us together. <laughs> I've rented a cottage on the island, you see, but it's not ready yet. So the builders suggested I stay here for the night. Is that okay? Oh, this is amazing. We, we were both going the same way. <laughs> well, yes, of course, you'd be very welcome to stay the night. Hello, Father. I see you've met your guest. <laughs> Mrs. Doyle, Miss Clark will be staying the night. Will you show her where the spare room is? What? Will you show her to the spare room? Well, yes, it's just that I was going to make some tea. <laughs> well, you can do that later. I think tea is a bit common for Miss Clark's tastes. <laughs> All right, come on. <laughs> have a shower. I, I mean, have a shower if you want. <laughs> I mean, I don't want you to have a shower. I just mean that you might like to get out of your clothes. No, obviously, that's no concern. Oh, her. he likes her. <laughs> Mrs. Doyle. <laughs> Did you see her grab her? <laughs> you horny little priest, you. <laughs> Where's Dougal? I know. Dougal could, Dougal could ruin this situation. He would. This was a bloody note. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. There he is. Why was he hiding behind the chair? <laughs> That's Why was he? That is just where he sits and hangs out. <laughs> oh my god. I love that dude. Ted. Who was that, Ted? Tugel, what do you think you're doing? I was hiding, Ted. Hiding from who? Hiding from your one. I heard her coming in, so I just jumped in behind the chair. Dougal, she, she's only a woman. <laughs> I don't know very many women, Ted. Oh. Dougal, what about your mother? <laughs> My mother? She's hardly what you'd call a, a, a woman, Ted. She's not like one of the women you see on the telly, like uh, like the gladiator. She wouldn't be one of them, Ted. Well, I, uh, I'm sure that's their loss. What about Mrs. Doyle? She's a woman. I know, Ted, come on. Yes, she is, Dougal. She's every bit as much a woman as one of the gladiators or the lady who runs Pakistan. What you mean is that she's not attractive in the conventional sense. And you can't think like that anymore, Dougal. Anyway, who's that one you were talking to, Ted? <laughs> she's an artist. <coughs> I was at her book signing. She's taken a cottage on the island. Very sophisticated lady. <laughs> That was like a Was that her or was it a jaguar? That was like a blood curdling scream. What in the Lord? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I just got a bit of a shock. Come on now, Father. <laughs> this is Father Hackett. <laughs> he gets a bit confused sometimes. <laughs> Come on, Father. No, <laughs> no like not you. your room. Not your room. No. Oh, no. <laughs> What color, Ted? Blue. Quickly, Dougal. <laughs> the old blue has a great calming effect on him. <laughs> <laughs> what? I love this man. <laughs> Look at how strange he's standing up. I oh my this god. Man. This man has the best job right, on this show. Clark. Dougal. Woman! Yes, it is a woman, Father. Right on the button. <laughs> well, have a lovely stay. Is that how I act sometimes? When I see her. Woman! 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 <laughs> At times.
Ja. Jag pillar i sig. Lord Dougal. Good idea, Ted. You've thrown out the ones you couldn't get through. No, no, Dougal, I was just arranging them in alphabetical order. You're uh, bringing Father Jack out for a walk, then? Ah, oh, yeah, I suppose so. Do you want to come at all? Ah, uh, no, no, I'd, uh, I'd better stay here and uh, prepare for the nuns. Here we are, Father. It's a beautiful day out. Yes. Would you like it? <laughs> uh, manual or automatic, Father? Um, automatic, I think. It's a nice day. Might as well take it easy. That's right, Dougal. You take your time. Fair enough. <laughs> Might as well take it easy. That's right, Dougal. You take your time. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Well, Father, I never thought we'd have anyone like her stay in here. Hmm? Oh, Miss Clark. Yes, it's very exciting, isn't it? A famous novelist here. You've never read any of her books, have you, Father? Actually, I'm a bit of a fan. That's where I was the other day. At her book signing. Well, I'm very surprised to hear that, Father. I didn't think you'd like that sort of thing. I read a bit of one of them once. God, I couldn't finish it. The language. Unbelievable. It's, it's a bit gritty, but that's the modern world, Mrs. Dolly. Well, it was a bit much for me, Father. Feck this and feck that. Feck yes, Mrs. Doyle. You feck. big bastard. Oh, dreadful language. You big hairy arse. You big fecker. Fear stuff. <laughs> Should we start using thick? Thick. Thick off. I like that. I'll thick you. <laughs> I don't give a thick. I like it. What, what do you thick? guys think? You're going to have to change your greatest um, uh, goodbye to uh, thick off. Thick off. Yeah. And of course, the F word, Father. The bad F word. Worse than thick. You know the one I mean. Yes, I do, Mrs. Doyle. That's what they're referring to. If you, if your effing wife. Oh, I don't know why they have to use language like that. I stick this effing pitchfork up your bolo. That was another one. Oh, yes. I see what you mean, Mrs. Doyle. Bastard this and bastard that. You can't move for the bastards in her novels. It's war to all bastards. Is it, Mrs. Doyle? Bastard, anyway. You fecker, you bollocks. Get your bollocks out of my face. That's the word I like, bollocks. <laughs> Wait, did you hear that last part? It's war to all bastards. Is it, Mrs. Doyle? Anyway. You fecker, you bollocks. Get your bollocks out of my face. <laughs> Yes, you, you just go and prepare for the nuns. Right, me sideways, oh, what'd you say? Get your bollocks out of my face, I'm just talking about the father. Yes, you, you just go and prepare for the nuns. Right, me sideways, is another one. <laughs> wow. I had no idea that, uh, is it Miss or Mrs. Doyle? <laughs> <laughs> Was, uh... I think that potty small. mouth on I know, jeez. <laughs> there what is he doing? I'm starving in town. How did you sleep? Oh, like a log. It's so peaceful here. I'm going to eat a bit of peace after the year I've had. I see. I've had a rough time of it recently, Father. My husband left me for another woman. But it was my fault, I suppose. The sex was getting a little boring, and I did nothing to spice it up. <laughs> Isn't that always the way? Very caring. But near the end, I tried a few things. I used to dress up in really revealing lingerie, and when he came through the door, I leapt on top of him and had sex right there in the hall. Oh, no, Father. So you had a good sleep then? <laughs> I'm a great camper. So you had a good sleep then? <laughs> oh God, I'm 
sorry, Father. I've probably shocked you. <laughs> go, go away with you. I've heard far more shocking things down through the years in confession. Uh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I used to think about it, the future, and then it became the present, so I, uh, I thought about it quite often then, and then it was the past, so I... <laughs> That was the goofiest throwaway line ever. Future, Father. I used to think about it, the future, and then it became the present, so I, uh, I thought about it quite often then, and... Then it was in the past, so I, I didn't think about it that much. Do you like Dostoevsky? <sighs> oh, him! Yes, yes, he's uh, he's one of my favourites. I, I must have read that book oh, ten times. I see you're reading it again. There's a bookmark here on page seven. <laughs> Did you feel his sense of commitment wane towards the end? Yes. <laughs> when yes. did you feel that began to happen? Towards the end, you know. <laughs> After he'd finished writing about the crime bit and moved on to the punishment, you know. I felt it dragged a bit there for me, you know. I always thought that if Joyce, Keats and Lawrence were sitting in a room together and Dostoevsky walked in, there'd be a hell of a fight for the last piece of pudding. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he what only read on page seven. talk to somebody about these things. My husband. There was a man who was really afraid of Virginia Woolf. Well, why was... Was she following him or something? Oh my gosh. Oh, Father. I... You... You wouldn't like to come up to the cottage later. For a little drink. Or uh, maybe some more book talk. That would be delightful. Sorry? <laughs> I'd be delighted at it. <laughs> I'll see you later then, Father. About seven. Seven o'clock. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? He's just having to hide his boner the whole time. Poor, poor Father. <laughs> It's only a drink. <laughs> Until it isn't. Oh no. So you'd uh, you'd no trouble getting here. No, no. I drove Sister Julia in the Renault. Sister Margaret took the mini. It's great having the old car all the same, isn't it? <laughs> Anyone for more tea? <laughs> Sister Margaret, do you want something? No, thank you, Bob. Sorry? I wonder if people in the clergy have seen this show and if they like it. Yeah, I wonder. You know? I don't know. That'd be a good sign for uh, uh, someone from the church. Yeah. If they watch this show and get the humor and, yeah. you know, I'd like that. actually don't take themselves, like, Ser super seriously. seriously. Yeah. yeah. It's a qu just a question I've been pondering. Just a question. The past couple minutes. Because, you know, the whole scene with all the nuns there. Like, I wonder if, like, you know, nuns or priests or anybody has yeah. seen the show like I this. Fine, Father. <laughs> At what time does the Mass tonight start, Father? Seven o'clock. Oh, that's grand. Oh, no. We don't want to be too late. Well, seven isn't too... Ah! <laughs> Father! Yes, yes, it's... There's just seven o'clock. I, I, I may have to leave early. During the Mass? Oh, you couldn't leave during the Mass. <laughs> It's just see that, that to see young you Sister Julia said yeah. that you say a lovely mass. She said that you said one of the nicest masses she ever heard. Oh, and Sister Concepta said that last year's mass here was fabulous. She said she'd give it ten out of ten and she's very hard to please. She's seen you do, what is it, about fifty masses since then? <laughs> Let's show Father Crilly the photographs, Teresa. You like these, Father. <laughs> oh, there's you saying the mass here last year. And that's you saying the mass the year before. <laughs> What's that? Oh, yes, that's your sister-in-law's funeral. That's my personal favourite. <laughs> <laughs> that's when you had the beard. Oh, oh no. wow. At 
Mr. Potter, you couldn't sign a few of them for us, could you? The photographs? Yes. All right. Oh, could you put on my one, two sister or something? Sure. Oh. Uh, Father, Sister Margaret has a question. Yes? Where'd you get your ideas for your sermons? Where'd you get your ideas for your sermons? Oh, just... Overheard conversations, the news, whatever. Listen, I have to be honest here. I might not be able to. You have a question. (laughs) What's your most embarrassing moment saying mass? Oh, he's got his own little nun fan club. He does. Yeah, they like him. (laughs) And he's supposed to be at for go get drinks at seven. Yeah. They might get baddies like him do the mass. Yeah. Well, I suppose it was the time I forgot my sister-in-law's name. (laughs) That got me a bit hot under the collar. (laughs) Oh, they love him. <laughs> anyway, anyway, the thing is, I might not be able to say this evening's mass. Yeah. What's father? I have something quite important to do. Not more important than saying mass, father. It's just someone I know is, is dying. Oh, dear. Is Uh-oh. it serious? <laughs> He's lying. He's not supposed to do that. No, especially about someone dying. That's yeah. a pretty big thing to lie about. That's a pretty big sin there, Father. That's a very big sin. Yeah, you naughty boy. Naughty, naughty. All because you're getting uh, clergy boners. Oh, yes. In this case, the person dying is quite seriously ill. It's, it's someone we know very well. Nuns! Nuns! Reverse! Reverse! I love him in this one. <laughs> yeah. I love him, dude. I case, freaking love him. Quite seriously, Father right? Jack. It's someone we know very well. <laughs> runs! Runs! Reverse! 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 No, Father McGuire. Father Crilly was just telling us about your friend dying. Who was that, Ted? Um, oh, uh, old Jim. Ah, is he dying? Poor old Jim. Won't like that. Oh, He's terribly you. down about it. Wait a second. Jim Halpin. Yes. Oh, I was just talking to him earlier and he didn't say a thing about it. Well, that's Jim. Brave is not the word. He's just outside. Hold on there and I get him. What? Dougal! Oh, no! Outside, you should be at home in bed. I know, you see, I met him earlier. He just wanted to lend us some sugar. Hold on there. At a moment like this, this man needs peace. So just don't be... (laughs) Hello, Jim. Hello, father. Hello, sisters. Now, Jim, you never told me you were ill. What? I had a bit of a cold a few weeks back. A cold? Ted said you were dying. Dying? Oh, no. I don't think so, anyway. <laughs> well, it's just I was talking to Dr. Sinnott, and he said... <laughs> he said that you that you might be dying, but he wasn't 100% sure himself, so don't go off worrying yourself unnecessarily. <laughs> oh, mighty, I'd better give him a call. I, I wouldn't go calling him, Jim. And why not? <laughs> he... He can't use the phone. <laughs> He's gone deaf. <laughs> Dr. Simmons gone deaf. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Diggle's face. He's like always oh, so happy. That's terrible. <laughs> oh, you're dying. That's terrible. <laughs> it is all right. Now. Oh, Dr. Stennett! Doc! He heard that all right, Ted. <laughs> oh, actually, actually, wait! I just remembered! <laughs> Jim is not dying! <laughs> and Dr. Sinnott's not gone deaf! I was thinking of two completely different people! So you will be able to say tonight's mass then, Father? <laughs> yes! Yes, I will, of course. <laughs> Thanks to Father Dougal for clearing up that little misunderstanding. <laughs> Ted, 
Ted, you're hurting me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> I like he looks out the window. Doctor! Oh, he heard that fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, Dougal. I'm going to have to go straight after this. You'll have to look after the nuns. Fair enough, Ted. What will I do with them? Whatever you want. Just try not to kill them or anything. <laughs> <laughs> it off, Ted. Uh, remember Sister Janita? Oh, yeah. I was a bit too close for comfort, all right, yeah. Well, just be careful this time, Mark. Huh? Oh, God. Are they all in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like peas in a pub, Ted. Pod. <laughs> My prediction. He's going to do this mass because he couldn't get out of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's going to go back to uh, the cabin that she's at mm -hmm. like an hour or so afterward mm -hmm. to like apologize for not showing up at seven, mm -hmm. like he said. And he's going to walk in there and she's going to be raging drunk oh, yeah, and thanks. try to have her way with him. Yeah. That's my prediction. My prediction was... <laughs> Priest Jack was, or Father Jack was going to be there. Oh, yeah? In the cabin. <laughs> you sick little snail. <laughs> I didn't see doing anything. I didn't see he's going to be there. Wow. That is an old man. He'd probably die if he got something, something at that age. Oh, my God, stop. Right, let's go. See you later. Okay, good luck, Ted. He's gonna give the fastest mass of his life. You called it! Yeah? You called it! I didn't even hear anything. I heard. No, no, no. Uh, no, no, no. Oh my god. Look at that parking job. Look at that road. Oh my lord. Oh no. Please. 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 You know, I've never been to Ireland, but that, uh, the part of Ireland where they film this, mm -hmm. like when they have like scenic shots, like yeah. far away shots, it looks very pretty. It does look really Yeah, pretty. it looks very pretty. It's very green. I want to go. Me too. Are you? Go! Oh, that's a dog. It's a very cute dog, yeah. You haven't been up to roll six again, have you, Tom? No, fella. Just my money. I just didn't want to fill out the forms. <laughs> you robbed the post office? You robbed the post office? You came! Oh! Oh! She's all dressed up. Oh, well, ah. I think I might have everything you want in here. Oh. <laughs> I was not expecting no. this. No. Well, it looks like my prediction didn't come true. No. Yours did, though. It did. Like, instantly. Oh, see? Look at you. You know, actually, that uh, last In Betweeners episode uh -huh. we did? Uh -huh. um, you were uh, guessing that the. Uh, that the girl had an STD instead yeah. of a baby. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, a lot of the comments were actually complimentary towards you. They said that, wow, she picked it up really fast. Sometimes I'm good with, like, shows yeah. and movies of, like, what they're going to do next. Yeah. They were, the, yeah, there were quite a few comments that were impressed with yeah. that. What are you doing here? Huh? Well, you know, we were invited. Invited? Yeah, same as you, Ted. Can't have a housewarming on your own, can you? No, no, I suppose you can't. Very short mass tonight, Father. We were all a bit disappointed, weren't we, sisters? We might not be coming back next year. They say Father Clippish does a good long mass. 
three hours he does on a good night since his stroke. It's not a new for money. Well, you see, sister. Oh, I'm sorry, Father. I'm in a hurry. How do you get these open? Hi, <laughs> sister. Hi, sister. Sit back in it. Now, Father. Oh, my God. Father, before you go, could I have a quick word? Oh, right. Uh, Dougal, you go on ahead. I'll be back in a while. Right, so. Would you like me to put something else on? No, no, what you're wearing is fine. <laughs> Would you like another drink, Father Curly? <laughs> yes. Yeah. It was nice talking to you today. Well, if you, if you can't talk to a priest, who can you talk to? <laughs> We're taught how to listen, you know. <laughs> Not that we had listening classes or anything, because it's not as if we didn't know how to listen before. It's just being there and somebody talking to you, which is quite easy. And, unless you're deaf. There's not a lot of work involved there. No, no swatting for exams with your listening. Father, you remember me telling you about reaching a crossroads in my life? Yes, I do. Well, what do you think I should do? I need advice. This crossroads, is it, uh... Is it... Something nuts is about to happen. Yeah, I'm waiting for it. Me too. Busy at all? You know, Father, that's interesting. I think one road leads back to where I was. Now, that's a busy road. Oh, it's filled with people and bright lights and traffic. <laughs> the other road is a quiet country road. With peace and serenity and fulfillment. See. Which one would you choose, Father? Well, it's, um, that's an easy one. <laughs> yes, I suppose it is obvious. Bright lights, glamour, film premieres. Well, no, I was thinking... parties, drugs, busts, Las no, no, Vegas. Father, 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 Father. Sorry, sorry. What I was going to say was, I know I've made the right choice. I know you have, Holly. I'm with you all the way. I'm going to become a nun. <laughs> oh, feck. <laughs> he can't do anything anyway. But he's been thinking about it now. So. Oh, has he been thinking about it? Feck, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> feckin' marvelous Jews. <laughs> I was talking to Sister Julia earlier. You know she's 97 years of age. <laughs> Did you ever think what it would be like to be a 97-year-old nun, Father? No. <laughs> oh, Miss Craggy Island. It's silly, I know. I've only been here a day. <laughs> but I'll always remember you. In 20 years' time, when I'm looking in my prayer book, I'll probably still be thinking about Father Ted Curly. <laughs> Trilly. <laughs> Father Ted Trilly, nice to meet you. What's he laughing at? Oh no, Dougal, not again. He's got his head stuck in the couch. <laughs> I'm just looking for some change. Oh, well, back to the everyday grind. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Doodle. What is that a thing that Doodle does now? I guess so. Oh, my God. I like that episode. <laughs> Me too. I think the last one was a little better, but this one is, it doesn't mean this one was bad. Yeah, it's no, still I really I like good. One. Last one, I like the last one a little bit better because it was a little, little bit more crazy. Yeah. It's funny, like the last half of every Father Ted is like crazy. Yes. Yeah. Well, sometimes it's crazy in the beginning too. I don't I'm really thinking of that uh, that Spanish priest <laughs> where they had the <laughs> the horny one. Yeah. That was funny. I like that. Yeah. So, Brian, what if I become a nun? What? 
That's the end of the uh, video. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I got the chair. <laughs> okay, we'll say an outro for me, okay? And then we'll get you all your classes on your way to being a nun. Yeah, it'd be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck to you. Okay, bye. Do I just have the whole house in the room now? Well, thank you for coming. I think I scared King Boomer. But thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.